Hey, my friends, this is Jeff Yaldon. How are you? Good. Hey, listen, I kind of felt like that I was called to speak to you tonight on uh, depression. Um, something that I don't talk about too often. I don't really bring up my programs, but I suffer from depression. I battle depression quite often. Sometimes my depression is a little bit worse, and sometimes my depression is in check. Uh, this week has just been a really tough week. And little things can trigger, you know, where depression is more severe than other times. And this week is just kind of like things have just hit. And uh, for those of you that suffer from depression, you can probably understand. You know, just getting out of bed sometimes is hard. Or wanting to do anything other than just close the curtains and lay in bed and watch TV and wallow in your own self-pity or... Um, it's just been a really hard week in traveling alone and uh, getting myself up to do my school assemblies. And this one thing, you know, for those of you that might be watching this video and saying, oh, Jeff Yeldon, I didn't know he suffered from depression. We might want to be concerned about bringing him to our school. Is he going to freak out or something? <laughs> no, I won't. I, I think the one thing that really makes me the happiest is when I'm teaching young people. It, and uh, I often make that comment to them is that, you know, I don't smile because I'm happy. You know, most of the time I smile because I'm grateful. And it's little things that I just wanted to share with you today. So I kind of want to talk about two things that I want to encourage young people that I, I know you've got depression. Your boyfriend or girlfriend broke up with you. Oh, woe's me. My life sucks. OMG, FML. You know, so there's that depression. Oh, I failed the test. I didn't make the team. Then there's also the depression of that's clinically um, classified. You know, you battle depression, which is more of a mental disease or something where you need um, professional treatment or counseling. And I want to encourage you to really reach out to people, um, get professional help, find maybe the right medication that will help you deal with your depression. Um, I think number two is you got to recognize the triggers that bring out the depression. And so there's a couple of things that like happen. One thing happened to me today. I was in Phoenix Airport on my way to Los Angeles, and um, these three guys sat down next to me, and I'm just eating my fish tacos, minding my own business. I was wishing that I was home, and I was kind of sad and depressed, and I wanted to get this week over with and go back to my family. When I heard one guy talk about it's his 50th birthday or something, and they were talking about ordering drinks, so I just kind of, you know, butt myself in there, and I said, hey, man, uh, I said, I'd like to buy them a drink and uh, buy that round of drinks. And not that I condone drinking, but it was the dude's 50th birthday, and he was traveling, and I just thought, you know, pay it forward. Do something nice for someone, and they were really appreciative of it, and and I felt really good about that gesture of just reaching out. And then they offered me a shot of tequila. And I, I kindly said, no, that's okay, man. So um, that made me feel so good. It kind of brought me out of the doldrums of woe's me, woe's me. And I kind of I paid it forward a little bit. And I felt really good about that. So I think sometimes when you're unselfish and you stop thinking so much about yourself, you think about other people. And the second thing is I arrived here in uh, Redondo Beach, California, where I'm at right now, and I speak at Redondo Union High School tomorrow. And um, I got here early, and the assistant principal wanted to take me out. And normally I just, you know what, I, when you go out with people, you got to be on. Oh, Jeff Yaldon's here. we got to take him out and show him a good time. And Jeff's got to be I'm, – I'm not – Dude, I'm not so into that. You know, who you see me on stage is pretty much the same person you see me off stage. But, you know, I, I, I felt like, yeah, I'm here early. It would be kind of selfish to say no. But I thought about it. And uh, I ended up going out and um, went down Hermosa, down to Hermosa Beach and walked on the boardwalk and watched them play volleyball and watched the sun go down. I had an amazing night, man. I had an amazing night. So here I am, and I want to share with you a couple of tips with your depression, especially for teenagers, because teenagers are the ones that I work with. Number one, really develop a group of friends and, and use your friends 
you know, stay busy with your friends. And I think the greatest thing about friends is the laughter and, and, and be a true friend. Don't get caught up into the gossip. Don't get caught up in what people are saying or what people are thinking. Just genuinely be a good friend. Like, you know, I kind of think of like dogs. Why can't we be more like dogs where they unconditional love you, unconditionally love you and support you and they're so accepting. They don't judge you. They love you for who you are. And I think for those of you that are suffering from depression, get out there and develop some really good friends and be a good friend. I think number two, get involved. Get involved in school sports, your theater, get involved in um, different clubs that your school has. You know, I think it's going to help you out. Number three, really open up to teachers and counselors. And if the depression is that severe, make sure you get professional help. And I think as I sit here, I think of the one last message that I want to give you. And I want that message to be this. It will be okay. Tomorrow will come. And it might be a day where you're feeling a little bit better. But don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. Because I think with the right help and the right people, you can be stronger than the depression. And in those days when you just want to lay in bed and close the curtain, they're going to be those days where you can't wait to get up and open up that curtain because you got good friends. You're involved in activities. And you're thinking less about yourself. You're thinking more about other people. So for those of you that suffer from depression, I know, man. I feel it with you. But one thing that I, I do that makes me feel a little bit better is I try and live every day in gratitude. I try and be grateful for the little things that I do have. And I write down one thing a day that I'm really grateful for. And you start doing that after a week or two. You start realizing that you're grateful for just the bricks leading up to your house. Or you're grateful for that tree that you've never noticed before. And then you ask yourself, why did I walk past that tree and I didn't even appreciate it? So tonight came down to me being down in Hermosa. It came down to me meeting a great person at Redondo Union High School that took me out for an awesome dinner. I got to stand on the beach, watch volleyball, stand down there on the pier, kind of like Baywatch down there, and it was awesome. Teenagers, you know I love you, man. I'm just trying to be real with you. Beat the depression. Don't let the depression beat you. Thanks for listening.